Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to give you guys a general overview of how to get into Arch Rising because I know a lot of my viewers, you guys are new into Linux and you're probably looking for some kind of way to get into Rising. You see maybe my setup or other people's setups and you're like, whoa, that looks cool, so cool, but like you don't even know where to begin. Maybe you haven't even heard of the term Rising and I think it comes from just like car customization. I think they also say Rising like to make like a car look cool or whatever. But yeah, it's all to do with customization, just customizing your setup. And for me, customizability was one of the reasons why I wanted to get into Linux because I was always more of a power user on Windows. I just, you know, I wanted to do the most I can with my system, use it as efficiently and just make it look cool. You know, I wanted to have a setup cooler than other people. And uh, Linux, if you're one of those kind of people or were one of those kind of people on Windows or Mac, Linux is for you because you're going to be like, wow, like you can truly make your setup unique because I love my setup. My setup, I guarantee no one. No, it's, it's just no one has this setup. It's just mine. And I just love it. It's just it's very clean. And um, yeah, so rising is this like see how like my setup is like it includes like even the wallpaper, like what kind of wallpaper you have and uh, what kind of bars you have. Like if I want to open up an application like Brave, then OK, I, you know, I type in that menu. And it brings up this where I can just like type in whatever command, let's say like, you know, webcam or like OBS or like whatever. Um, all of this is including in Rice, um, even like the terminal, like how your terminal looks. Uh, NeoFetch classic, just <laughs> it's just a classic staple for any kind of Rice. So it's all to do with visuals. There's no real practicality when it comes to it. Some people are very like prag. Pragma prag pragmatic. They don't care. They don't care about their rice. They just have Linux and they just have the default settings. They don't care. They just want to use it and that's fine. But here, you know, we like to have like, you know, we like to be pragmatic, but we also like a pretty face, you know, and um, <laughs> that's exactly what rising is. So maybe you've heard of this subreddit called Unix porn, r slash Unix porn. And this is where basically all the, the Unix rices get posted. And um, you can see like you just scroll and you'll see like people with their cool setups like this person's got like Spotify and you know they're showing off like the cool bars they have and you know all this like fancy stuff the notifications that's this is all to do with rising and it might seem a little intimidating you don't know where to begin so with this video I want to show you how to get into it so first of all choose your desktop environment or window manager like if we go here you know I'll just open up a couple yeah these seem good so this guy, this guy's using, I don't know, i3 win. Okay. He's using i3, which is a window manager, kind of similar to mine, DWM. And essentially it's the same thing where you open up something. It'll kind of like manage the windows as efficiently as possible. So you can see like here, like if I open up a couple windows, it'll kind of sort it where it's like using the screen as efficiently as possible. And I can like change how it's like divided and all this. So that's kind of a window manager. Whereas a, uh, a floating like a, a desktop environment would be more like um, yeah gnome so gnome here even though it seems like I believe like this is not exactly like a, a like even though it looks like it it's like Windows or Mac how like you open up a window and it's like this like you open up a window and it's like floating and you can like you have to drag it around and maybe you'll like full screen it uh, which like kind of looks like this you know you full screen that uh, window and then you can like close it and whatever that's basically um, how or what should I say is um, that's basically what a just a regular desktop environment is. And that's GNOME. So GNOME, you open up a window and it, it works exactly how you'd expect it to. And what you have to understand is depending on what desktop manager or what um, like whatever you choose to download, like if you choose. So if you choose GNOME, it's going to look like a different like layout it's going to have a different kind of feel and look to it and obviously you can customize it there's actually a lot of customizability that can be had with like gnome or with kde or whatever desktop environment you choose but it's always going to be different some programs will or so, like certain environments will let you customize different things compared to other ones and overall they'll give you a different kind of look and feel so for example i'm using dwm dwm is kind of notorious as like very hard because if we take a look at the source code, it's like, like DWM, its source code is very like, like this, like, whoa, because it's, it's just C, like, it's just a raw C. It's not a config file on the, like, standard, like it is, you can change it and all that, but it's not what you might expect. 
and because of that it leads it being to be like very hard but there is so much like freedom on what you choose you can customize every single thing because you're literally access like you're given access to the bare bones of the like the program so because of that it makes it very customizable you can see like even me like i have a very i guess a unique dwm setup compared to a lot of other dwm setups and um that, that gives you a lot of freedom but also it gives you it's it's more difficult like dwm is probably more of an advanced level like you, you kind of need to know your stuff so that's one thing to consider compared to um other setups let's say i3 i3 is a lot more like i guess kind it's a lot more easy i guess to use but it also leads you like again like it's each to their own. It's like whatever you prefer. I3, a little bit easier to kind of customize and all that, but then you kind of get a more samey look. So it's up to you. But if overall, if you're unsure of what desktop environment or window manager to use, then just look up, just look this up, just check it out and just see what's recommended. Look at some videos and see what like tickles your fancy the most. Let's say it's like, oh, KDE Plasma look into it, install it, and then go from there, start customizing. And even then, like there's so much you can do with KDE, let's say, because I, I used to be on KDE. That was the first like desktop environment I used, the first like window manager and all that. And there's a lot you can do. So don't feel like you choose something, you can't change it. Like you can always go back or change it again. So that's the beauty of Linux. Like it's all, it's all, it's all open, it's all free. Now, after you got a desktop environment or a window manager, you want to start getting more into it then you'd want to probably start customizing the themes and the themes are basically like the color schemes like you can see how i've got this color scheme for this um for envim right here or you know my color scheme is like i don't even know how to explain it. it's like very neutral colors like you can see like the like these are the colors that my terminal uses you want to start like finding a color scheme that you really like mess with for me i really love this color scheme for me because it's like whatever i i, I change my wallpaper often i might change it from this beach to more of a let's say like this cozy window and it kind of matches any like color scheme like this like kind of yellowish text with this blue i just like it i like being able to change the wallpaper and then getting a different feel from the wallpaper but not necessarily like the color scheme because especially on dwm it can be a pain to change it like it takes a while so that's why i personally don't have like you know i can change it and it always suits it whereas if you have a setup that is more uh, if i look up dwm like i saw one before it was like, let's say you have it like, okay, like here, like it's all red. It looks really good for this one wallpaper, but then it kind of won't look as good. Like it won't have the same feel for other wallpapers and stuff. So you have to like figure out, like if you want to have one set up and just keep the wallpaper in all the time, then maybe you want to have like one set color scheme. That's kind of how I used to have it. If you check my old videos, it was like all like kind of like purplish color. But um, yeah, it's something to decide. And alongside that, you can also change like the icons. So again, this, I, I can't like show you because I don't even have icons on my computer, but if you start using something like this, you can see like, I don't know if this is the default, but maybe this is something like custom icon icons that are used. And um, it's just more like customizability you can do. And for whatever you're using, just look up, how do I customize icons on KDE or whatever? And there should be pretty good tutorials telling you how to do that. Now, next would be like, what terminal are you using now for me i use st or simple terminal because this is literally just made by the same people that make suckless and it's just clean i just like it there's no borders or anything it's just a terminal i don't need a button to close it or a button to like minimize it. i can just close it myself and open it myself and yeah i just like it <laughs> it's just very simple um there's nothing really more to say for at least st although it's not as it's a bit more like of a hassle to use it sometimes so um, if you don't know what terminal to use, just literally look up like best Linux terminals. Look up what terminal you really like. Like for example, like here it's got ST, it's very lightweight, but it's a bit like, it's a bit of a pain to use. Um, and again, like just check it out. Can't, before this I used like, I forgot KD, KDE's terminal, whatever it's called, uh, Kterm console, console, that one's all right as well. But again, it's up to you. And then furthermore, from there, you can also customize how the color scheme of the terminal looks. Like, for example, if we look at my terminal, my terminal matches like the color scheme of my setup. So it's like all like homogenous. The next is what kind of text editor you have, because 
If you're on Linux, you're going to be editing a lot of files. And a lot of people also take a lot of pride in their text editor. So for example, I use Vim. Recently, I've been trying out NVim, but um, you can see like it has like a look to it. You can customize it quite a lot. And I don't know, I like it. If I open up, um, like if I open up some random code, um, yeah, like this is like how it would look when I'm like actually editing like some code. And yeah, I like the look of it. You can also use something like, let's say NVim, which is a lot more like customizable. So if we do, if you want to go through like recent files and just go through the same thing, like you can see like this is kind of how it looks. Again, it's like, what do you like? Like this is more like an IDE where you can like really like see everything and like, you know, it's like, it's a lot like um, VS code. It's like VS code. So if you like that look, again, up to you. You can then also customize the theme of that. You can have it kind of homogenous or you could have it like here. Like I don't really have it. I don't have it like matching my uh, setup really. So again, it's up to you. And then finally, like once you're going off into the deep end, you can be customizing the applications, like such as like, let's say you have Brave, you know, Brave, I kind of left it pretty default, but I kind of have it where, I don't know, this is just how I like it, kind of this color scheme and stuff. But some people will go like insane with their, like the customizability. For example, if you want to really customize your browser, I know that a lot of people will be more using like Firefox because Firefox, I believe has extreme like amounts of customizability as well. Like I think you can see this person's on YouTube, but like their YouTube looks crazy. Like, so there's like even like ways you can do this. However, this is kind of going off deep end. And to be honest, I kind of, for me, I don't really care about this, but if you do, then go for it. But again, there's so many ways. These are called like style sheets. So if you want to get into that, then just look up like style sheets on uh, Firefox or whatever. And then you can really like go and explore that same with like Spotify. I've seen a lot of people like customize their Spotify to be like matching their color scheme. Um, again, never really got into it. The most I got into it is, um, I'll use NCS spot, which is a terminal Spotify. And you can see, I've also got like a kind of like purplish uh, color scheme and yeah, it's just cool. Like I, I prefer it in this, like kind of like terminal layout compared to the more bloated, um, electron look, but yeah, that's about it. I, you know, I know that it's been like kind of like a very rough general, like out like overview and it hasn't been very specific, but honestly, like, I think you kind of have to do your own research a lot. Like it's, it's very like, there's so many different paths you can go under that this, I can't, you know, cover everything obviously, but honestly, like if you want a nice looking rice, in my opinion, have a nice wallpaper, have a nice wallpaper like this, um, have some opacity, like opacity where you can like see through the terminal and also maybe some blue effect and then it looks pretty pretty cool pretty cool maybe even some shadow you can see there's like a bit of a shadow at the like edge here and yeah like already like you kind of start getting like a nice look and then from there just find a color scheme you like and then maybe customize some of the things that you use like let's say if you use vim then customize your vim to also look similar to your desktop like color scheme and then once you once you're there you're basically at the same level as me like i haven't really gone that much deeper and yeah, but it, it makes, when you have like a nice setup, it makes it more enjoyable to use, I think. And um, yeah, what, there's nothing wrong in having like a nice looking setup. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you found this video informational and helpful. If you have, please like subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Check out my other videos about rising or how to get a setup like mine. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.